With tons of people returning to Black Ops 3 Zombies, I figured what better time to do an updated Gorod Krovi easter egg guide. My goal is to simplify this easter egg to where anyone can complete it easily, and with all that being said, let's get into this. Upon spawning into the map, you want to run over to the Quick Revive machine and grab the free 100 points before waiting for all of the zombies to come out of the barriers and shooting them 8 times in the leg and knifing them. When you make it to the end of round 3, save a zombie and make your way through to the Juggernaug area. Here you'll find your first shield part, either sitting on that chair, on this truck down here in the courtyard area, or on this shelf inside of the bunker. Making your way up to the infirmary, now you can grab your second shield part, the first location being on that wall, second location being on this bunk bed, and the third location being on a little piece of broken rubble by the stamina machine. After grabbing your first two shield parts, make your way towards Dragon Command and shoot this trophy off of the statue and pick it up when it finishes landing. From here, you want to go into the Dragon Command building and turn on the power, wait until Sophia finishes saying her quote before interacting with her green button, and now you want to make your way to the armory. Here you'll find your third shield part, either being on that wall right there, on this wall upstairs by the mystery box location, or on this box over by the valve step location. After picking up all the shield parts, you want to make your way down into the bunker and craft the shield before making your way to the mystery box. What you're looking for is the Raygun Mark III and a sniper rifle, so if you don't get either of those, that's okay, but you will need them later. Now you want to start killing zombies until you drop the first Groff module cylinder, and when you do, you want to take it up to the Dragon Command console and input it. Now you want to wait for the Groff module to crash into the earth, and when it does, you just want to protect it until you see these blue particle effects start, in which case you'll know you've completed it, and then you want to grab the Groff module. Go to the mystery box and hit it until you get the Raygun Mark III, and once you do, you want to kill zombies again until you drop the second Groff module cylinder. This time, it'll be for the supply depot, and once you make it to the supply depot, you want to interact with the giant eye beam trap and that will reveal another trophy, and then interact with the Groff module computer to send your second module down to the earth. It'll always be marked by a green beacon, so keep that in mind, and once you complete the second Groff module, you just want to once again pick up the actual conduit from inside, and rinse and repeat the same process with the final tank factory cylinder, and insert the cylinder, and then you can finally finish the final Groff module to get the Pack-a-Punch unlocked. Take all three of your conduits down to this computer in the bunker and insert them, to get the Pack-a-Punch unlocked. Now you want to buy Juggernog and make your way over to the Tank Factory, where you can now shoot this window with your shield to get a third trophy to spawn, before taking the dragon all the way over to the hatchery. When you land in the hatchery, you want to run over to the Dragon Strike controller and interact with it to start a lockdown. Now, one of the sides of the hatchery will be exposed, and you're just going to have to defend it until it closes and opens up another side. Keep in mind there's going to be manglers and zombies that spawn during this, but it's really easy if you have a sniper and your Raygun Mark III. It really is not an issue at all. And once you take care of all three of the initial lockdowns, the final lockdown phase will start and every single window will open up, so I recommend sitting in this corner upstairs and just shooting your Raygun Mark III until you finish the lockdown and you can go and claim your Dragon Strike controller. From here you want to make your way down to the bottom of the hatchery and shoot your Dragon Egg. Pick up the Dragon Egg and then make your way into the sewer and there will be a red light on the top of the sewer that you want to shoot with your gun to turn green and that will unlock a fourth trophy. Place your egg inside this nest in the spawn room and then run around until a dragon ignites the entire area in flames and once the fire goes away if you walk up to the egg it'll say it needs to cool. So from there you want to end the round twice and then walk up on the end of the second round to grab your dragon egg. Make your way to dragon command and once a dragon strikes the area with fire, you want to take out 5 napalm zombies to get the second part of your egg upgrade complete. Now you need that sniper to get penetration kills, I think it's 2 or 3 penetration kills, and then you need 5 melee kills to finish upgrading the dragon egg. From here, make your way to the supply depot and use your dragon strike on this puddle of water to get another trophy, and then you can make your way inside of the supply depot itself to grab the trophy from the giant eye beam trap that we used earlier. Call the dragon at the supply depot, and then use the dragon to make your way over to the hatchery to upgrade your Raygun Mark III, and once your Raygun Mark III is pack-a-punched, walk over to this toilet to grab the trophy from that little red button we shot in the sewer. 
Now input your dragon egg into the incubator and wait for a valkyrie to fly in front of this generator. Shoot it and it'll turn on the generator that'll be needed for the next step before just finishing the lockdown like normal and once it's done it'll say the dragon egg must cool. Make your way to the department store and now the valve step will start. What you're looking for is this little purple cylinder and this green light so once you find both of them you want to pause your game and go to this website i'll link in the description below and insert the two areas where you found the purple cylinder and the green light and it'll give you a code follow the code that the website gave you on all of the different valves scattered around the map the website will show you the map of where they all are so once you input all of the proper codes in all of the proper valves to notify your completion won't move anymore if you try to interact with it after it's done. So make your way back to the purple cylinder and pick it up and then make your way to Sophia. Insert your purple cylinder and now you want to type the word Kronos and then interact with Sophia. Once this happens, you're ready to start the easter egg. So trade out your sniper for a better gun and make your way over to the hatchery from the dragon command area to unlock the wings that will allow you to take less damage from the dragons and allow you to fly to the hatchery instantly. Retrieve your dragon egg from the bottom of the hatchery before making your way to spawn and interacting with your challenge board to claim your gauntlet of Siegfried. Now make your way to the top of the department store and you'll see a mannequin wearing your wings and then you can just interact to pick them up. Equip your gauntlet of Siegfried and go to the bunker and punch the vault door to grab the final trophy and then insert your trophies onto this computer. After a little bit of time passes, Sophia will be done yapping and the trophy computer will turn green. Interact with it to start your first trial, and in my case, I got the Gersh trial. This one's really easy. You want to run around the map until you hear a low humming noise, and then you'll find a yellow ball. Shooting it with your upgraded Raygun Mark III will cause it to do a quote before trying to escape. If you shoot him two more times with your Raygun Mark III, on the final time, he will finally give in and make his way to the Dragon Command. Then, he'll walk his way over to the pad and get eviscerated. That'll end the trial, and you can start your next one. The next one I got in my game was the Mangler Trial, and he can either spawn up here in the tank factory or over by the supply depot, and once you find him, you want to treat him like a little baby. You cannot hurt him at all, or he will explode, and the trial will end, and you'll have to wait till the next round. So what you want to do is protect him while he waddles his slow-ass way all the way to the Dragon Command, and eventually he'll get angry like a little baby and start running faster, and it'll make it a lot easier to lure him onto the pad so he can meet the same fate as Gersh. Once he's atomized, you can interact with the monitor again to get your next trial and in my case it was the Groff module trial and it told me to go to the supply depot and upon getting there all you have to do is spray at the Groff module with your Raygun Mark III and make these little portals until eventually like the other Groff modules it'll have these blue particles and end at this point you want to send in Welp from your gauntlet of Siegfried to go pick up the cargo from inside the Groff module and once you pick up the cargo you want to bring it back to Sophia and put it inside of her and after some short dialogue the trial will end and you'll be able to start the next one. The next one I got was the bomb step which on co-op is a complete nightmare if you don't have a good memory but on solo you can pause in between every single one it shows to get the order down perfectly so you don't run any risk of blowing up and then after that, it's just as simple as running across the entire map and pressing all of the bombs. On screen here, I'm going to show you all of the locations for the bombs, just in case you don't already know them. But there is one location inside of all of the main buildings on the map, and once you input your code correctly, a white flash will come on screen and you'll have completed the bomb step. The second to last trial I got in my game was the Valkyrie, and this one is honestly really easy. Similarly to the Mangler, it's a one-shot if you hit it, but as long as you don't shoot it, it's really simple. You just have to walk him from spawn all the way to Dragon Command and jump on the stairs right there to get him to come up all the way. But as long as you aim at the ground when you're shooting the zombies, you won't really run any risk of hitting the little guy, and once he is in the pad, you'll have completed it, and the final trial will be ready to start. The final one is a lockdown at the hatchery, so take the keycard that comes out of the monitor and walk upstairs. If you have the wings equipped, you can interact with this rod with the wings on it to instantly teleport to the hatchery. And once you upgrade your other weapon, you can make your way to the back of the hatchery to insert your keycard into this monitor and start a download. Now it'll start a lockdown, very similarly to the Dragon Strike controller lockdown, but instead of zombies, it'll only be manglers, and once you go through all of the three phases of the lockdown, and then the final phase, once the bar fills up all the way, you can grab your keycard and make your way back to Sophia. 
Now, just like you did with the cargo earlier, you want to insert your keycard to Sophia, and you will have successfully completed every trial on Gorod Krovi. Now, the last thing you need to do is grab the power core from Sophia and take it to spawn. Use your gauntlet of Siegfried and let Welp fly the battery all the way over to Nikolai. And once Nikolai gives you a quote letting you know it's time, Sophia will start to freak out when you go back to the Dragon Command and she'll comedically fly off into space. Now is the time you want to make sure you have the in play sight gobble gum because you cannot go back after you start the boss fight once you go into the boss fight activate this button and it will use the robots beam to free Nikolai from the rubble and once he hops out of the rubble a dragon will come down you want to use your Raygun mark 3 in these trenches to protect yourself from not only Nikolai's gunshots but the dragon's fire and once Nikolai shoots one of his electric javelins at the dragon it'll blow up a side of the dragon leaving him exposed letting you be able to shoot it with your gun once you deal enough damage to his weak spot, it'll blow up letting you know that you completed that phase. Now, there's a bug going around on this map I wanted to bring up because it's the reason why this video has taken over a week to come out. Nikolai can one-shot you now, so if you don't have Quick Revive, you are basically fucked every single time you play this map. Nikolai will every single time, without fail, lock on you and one-shot you even though he isn't supposed to hit you during the dragon phase. So. Good luck to all my solo gamers, but if you manage to make it past that one-shot nonsense, he will shoot the dragon once again, exposing his weak spot on his stomach, and once you shoot it, he will move to his final location, and when Nikolai hits him, his neck will be exposed, spray that neck, and the dragon will finally be deceased. And after the dragon pops like a giant gory pinata, you will get a cutscene with Nikolai, and as soon as the cutscene is over, the boss fight will begin. So be extremely careful, and as soon as the boss fight starts, you want to activate your in plain sight. Since Nikolai is a brainless drunkard, he has literally no idea where you go once you pop in plain sight, so walk up to him and shoot his four glowing powers power cores, and once all four of his glowing power cores are destroyed, the middle power core will open up, and once you shoot it a couple times, Nikolai will succumb to his injuries, and you will finally have completed the Gorod Krovi easter egg. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you did make it this far, I just wanted to say thank you, and I'm so sorry to those who are trying to get this done. That bug is absolutely ridiculous, and I know already that so many people are gonna have their runs completely ruined because of it. I have been trying to beat this map for the past week, that's why it's taken so long for this video to come out, because every single time I've gotten into the boss fight, I have gotten one shot. So, again, with all that being said, thank you so much, and I wish you all the best of luck, take care of yourselves, and I will see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.